What's up guys, it's 8-Bit Eric, and I have a crush on you. A super crush KO. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of like a weird beat-em-up game. It's cute, it's kawaii. You play as this girl. She's adorable. She's a jump. She's a punches. And she has a gun. So, basically you just play along in this pink-looking world that is kind of cool. Um... It's like a beat em up and the fact that you can do like combo punches and stuff like that but you can also shoot your opponents you can dash through them as well you get a score on the top as you can see that ranks like your uh your score and it has like a score multiplier and stuff like that so it's not like your standard retro style beat em up but it has elements of beat em ups and platformers and stuff like that look i found a pretzel who doesn't love pretzels Warm Pretzel gives you Twister Drill, so this gives you a, a uh, an attack, so you can do a Twister Drill like that. Look at that. Brand new attack open to where I can just attack my enemies and give them a Twister Drill. Of course, it has a cooldown because it's a special attack, but it's nice. Okay, so moving forward, we got a checkpoint. That's adorable. It's like a little candy machine. And uh, there we go. Look at that. That's cool. The, the gun actually kind of leaves you in the air when you shoot it. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Now we got a launcher. We can launch enemies in the air. Look at that. It's like an uppercut Mortal Kombat style. Not too bad. Oh. Let's get out of the way right there. And then shoot. Shoot ha. All right. There we go. Now let's see what's going on here. Let's uh, shoot some enemies. Shoot them, shoot them. Got them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. And if you, if you like games like this, this one's actually pretty solid. I think the graph, the art style is like that weird cartoony abstract look that I'll, like some games try to do where it's like, it's almost like a Cartoon Network Steven Universe like type of thing that that is like in style now with like children's animation um you know not bad i like it it's different you know they could have went the easy route and made this pixel sprites and stuff 8-bit 16-bit art but you know they did something different which you know you can commend them on that um it is repetitive in its gameplay just because it is basically a a platformer like beat em up type of game so you're going to experience a lot of repetition see a lot of enemies that are quite similar in the way they look and stuff like that so you definitely can't get around that but i mean it's so far not not too bad right you know the level design is neat I like the way the color palette is of the game um there is a degree of challenge there's a incentive to try to get a really good score like see right now i'm being ranked b the incentive for me is to try to get A, which I just did, but getting hit does count against you and your final score, as you guys will see in a minute. There we go. All right. Oh, pizza. What does the pizza do? Uppercut slice. All right. So up and X. Perform on the ground. Let's try it. Oh, that's like some uh, Street Fighter stuff. It's like Ken and Ryu. There we go. Uppercut. I am about to die. Take advantage of being alive still and try to kill these opponents. Maybe there'll be a checkpoint. Yes, sir. There we go. And it'll refill some of my health. Not all of it, but we're good enough. We're, we're good. There we go. We got health right there, actually. And I think we're all right. I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead get this girl up here and uh, slice some tail what are these are these like evil dogs I have no clue but you know still not too bad all right oh my goodness they got me all right Kill this guy, kill that one. You do have to cool down a little bit after doing certain moves. But it's nothing. If you're a retro gamer, you're never going to uh, 
run out of uh, figuring out how to play this game. It's not that hard. Now, I don't know if this is based off of like a series or a cartoon or if this is an original character that was made for the game. But I mean, it's kind of cute and it's kind of cool. Uh, the premise of the game is I think she steals like your pet or something. And uh, you have to try to rescue it. So. There we go. Stage cleared. Level 1-1. One -one. Let's see what I got. Got the time, 10%. Continues good. It's the hits taken. See, I took 11 hits there. Didn't get the perfect combo, but that's my new high score. Her name is Karen. She goes, oh, stupid robots scuffed my shoes. And you could submit. You can actually upload them. Wow. That's actually really cool. There's leaderboards. Let's take a look at them. Leaderboards are always a nice addition, I think, in games. So that's world score. Holy smokes. My score. Let's see where I rank worldwide. I wonder. No score. What? Some friends. None of my friends probably play it. Time lag. All right. That's cool. So definitely interesting type of game. Um, you can see different stuff like that. There's extras. You play the intro cutscene. Not bad at all. I think it's actually worth taking a look at. What do you guys think? It seems like a pretty neat little beat em up. Kind of cute, kawaii. The character looks nice. I like the art style, the graphics, the sound. Plays solid. I think it's worth taking a look, guys. Comment down below if you have played this or if it's something that you think you would like. Or even if you don't like it, let me know. Don't forget to dislike or like the video. And subscribe if you're brand new, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.